Good afternoon everybody. How is everyone doing today? My name is Kip and you're watching America Bumper to Bumper. Today we are on video three of the uh, South Burlington Cars and Coffee. This is the May meetup. So you sit back and enjoy the car. Vroom vroom. All right, we're gonna start out this video with this awesome uh, 69 Pro Touring uh, Camaro. Uh, this was in, I think, the last Cars and Coffee video that we did uh, in, back in October of uh, 2017, so I don't go into a whole lot, but this is a really, really great looking car. Uh, everything that they've done to it, it just really, I bet you the car really gets gets uh, moving and hold, uh, hold, holds everything. Oh, geez. Now we're on this uh, Buick Special. This is a 67, I believe. Also a car that we've seen before. Uh, now we're looking at another Mustang Shelby GT350. See the engine on this one? That flat crank, you know, plain crank engine. I always get that confused. But I like uh, how this one's the kind of mirror image, the uh, the negative image of the uh, the first one that we saw, was it last, uh, last yesterday? Um, now we're looking at this really nice 65 Buick Grand Sport. I believe it is 65, it might be a little bit, uh, you know, might be a 67. Uh, does have the Wildcat 445, big block V8. And this is a great looking Grand Sport. Uh, I did get to talk with the owner of this, uh, you know, later on, and uh, said he just barely picked it up and bought it in this condition. So it's a great car for him. Uh, now we're looking at a SN95 uh, model Mustang. I like the shaker hood, and as the sign says, it is for sale. Um, I don't know that I got a, a good picture of uh, the phone number, but uh, I'm sure other people know who owned this car and how much they want for it. Now we're looking at a, a 69, 70, somewhere in that range, uh, long bed C10. Um, love the paint job on this. Engine looks super sweet down there. Uh, do love the, the headlights on this as well. It's a great looking C10. Looks like a bench seat out of a newer Chevy. Ah, uh, and this car. I uh, love this. Um, GT, uh, Ford GT. Uh, this was made from uh, 05 and 06. A total of just over 4,000, is like 4,030. Uh, of these were made uh, in those two years. Um, just an absolute powerhouse. 5.4 liter supercharged engine, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, this was meant to, um, is a reimagination uh, of the GT40 that uh, won Le Mans back in the 60s. And really, other than a few dimensions and different engine and whatnot, they look just like a GT40. This one is definitely a stunner. Um, make sure you watch uh, tomorrow's video because it, we have a video of that thing leaving, uh, which is really nice. Now we're looking at a 69 Mustang Mach 1. Slow that down, uh, you know, pause it, and you can read all the information about uh, the engine and whatnot of this uh, Mach 1. I love the Mach 1s, I love the fastback style um, Mustangs. Uh, coupes and, and the convertibles are okay, but uh, the the fastback st body style is really nice. Tiny little steering wheel. Uh, that Mustang and this car here, um, Ford Vicky, um, we have seen before. Uh, this was in uh, one of the early Cars and Coffee from last year. Um, it's also in, I think, another video, so again, don't go into a whole lot there. Um, this is a GM era Saab 9.3 convertible. Um, really cool Saabs, uh, you know, all around the very cool story behind Saab. 
Um, I you know, do unfortunately think that so, um, GM, uh, the sale of uh, to GM was, was the worst thing that ever happened to the company. Any sob, uh, Sabophile will tell you that as well. Um, but nice, nice little car, anyways. Uh, this is a MG Midget. This is either a Mark II or three. I'm not a hundred percent sure uh, which one, uh, but I do love this little MG. Um, they also made a Austin Healey version of this car. It's an Austin Healey Midget. Oh no, sorry, Sprite. Um, fun little British sports car. Not very fast, but really, really cool. Now we're looking at a 1929 Buick, named Silver Annie. Uh, very interesting thing about this, if you noticed uh, around the uh, windshield and most of the uh, the body on you know, right there, it's all wood. Um, this car, a fair amount of it would have been wood. The um, uh, framing would be wood and then they'd usually have metal around it but this is a great way uh, that these uh, the owner of this was able to you know keep this very old Buick on the road and now we're looking at a Dodge Charger Daytona the Daytona for uh, this body style is a just a uh, package um, that you could get give you a little bit of graphics and uh, I think it got you the 392 uh, Hemi, uh, a few other things, uh, but it's not like the 70s Daytonas, um, but beautiful car anyways. Uh, 68 Ford Torino GT, this is a GT Cobra, it's got the 428 Cobra Jet uh, engine in it. This was um, Ford's answer, uh, this is what Ford did you know, with their cars in the back in NASCAR in the in the 60s they're trying to make it as aerodynamic and sleek as possible and this is what they they used and it it, it won a lot of races uh, 67 Chevelle I really love the color on this car that light yellow buttercream yellow whatever you want to call it is uh, really nice on this car and it goes well with that black interior just a great looking Chevelle. And we have a short little uh, view of Zelda, my Lincoln. And now we're on to another 6970, um, somewhere in there, C10. This is a short body, uh, a short bed, uh, step side bed, which uh, I've always loved uh, the step sides. Nice truck again, uh, more uh, modern seating, which uh, from what I understand you've got to have in these trucks because they were never really comfortable. Uh, but a really, really, really nice C10. And we got another Jetta. Um, I did take a little bit longer look at this one because uh, I do like the, the white and black uh, rims, but again, it's a Jetta. And now we're looking at an E30 BMW. This is the 325 Coupe. I'm a sucker for these older BMW Coupes. This is a five-speed car, which is always more fun in a BMW. Great, great, great looking uh, E30 BMW. And then we have the piece de resistance for uh, this show. Uh, this is a Lamborghini Huracan Performante. Uh, this is the top of the line, absolute best you can get for uh, a Lamborghini, uh, for a Huracan, I should say. Um, this is the fastest car on the Nurburgring, uh, forged carbon fiber. Um, it's got a, a system on it called ALA. I cannot pronounce the Italian, so I'm not going to tell you, but it, it's a process that allows the car to have the best downforce that it can. It, you know, has, um, you know, and, and depending on what you're doing, straight line, you know, gives you the downforce. If you're in cornering, it, it's just really fantastic. And then you got that beautiful V10 uh, sitting underneath the, the glass there. Um, so 
something crazy, 650 horsepower. Um, I'll put the exact uh, number in there. Uh, as you can see there, forged carbon, which uh, most of this car is made out of. Um, and I do, again, stay around for tomorrow's video. This one I uh, have going away, driving away too. Uh, we have looked at this car before. This is a 1930 Willys Whippet. And I think it's just amazing to have, you know, the amazing performance of the Lamborghini Performante sitting next to a 1930s Whippet. Uh, we got a couple of WRXs. Uh, this one here, I believe, is um, a late third gen, and then we've got an early four, uh, a fourth gen sitting next to it. Um, I do love the, the WRXs when you could still get them in wagons. Um, I wish that uh, they'd bring that back. Oh, and this is an STI, which I should have known by the wing, but another really nice uh, looking rig. Uh, this car you might remember from another Cars and Coffee. This is a, I believe it's a 92 uh, Skyline GTS. Um, it's not the GTR, the Godzilla car. You know, it is a four door. Um, it's got a smaller you know, engine, the RB20, than, you know, the um, GDR had um, just a really great looking ride there as well. Uh, we got another Nissan. This is a uh, 240SX coupe. It's got the blue top SR20. Love the, I don't know if that's wrap or if it's actually paint, but it has a really great looking uh, ride. Now we're coming back over to check out this RX-7. This has also been in uh, other cars and coffees uh, videos. So again, I don't go into a bunch in, in this, but um, it is a very nice, clean, great sounding RX-7. And the final car for this video is one that we've also seen before in other cars and coffee video. Uh, I believe this is a 62 Cadillac Coupe DeVille. And just look at how absolutely mammoth this is. Not the not the biggest Cadillac, but it's definitely huge. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, third video of May Cars and Coffee in South Burlington, Vermont. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're uh, new to the channel, please subscribe so you can keep uh, on top of everything else. And make sure you hit that notification button so you, give, you will know when everything has been uh, or uploaded. Make sure to follow us on all of our social media. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Still working out this uh, website. If you guys, uh, if anybody knows of a web uh, developer who's willing to um, you know, work, work some sort of uh, you know, deal um, on getting the site up, I would really appreciate it. Um, also, contributors, we still want contributors. So any information you need is either going to be here or down in the description. So hit me up, and hopefully you, uh, you have a day, and hopefully it's a good one.